I have a couple little serving bowls here. One says ordinal numbers and one says cardinal numbers. And this is for our food theme. I have here a whole bunch of different fruits and foods and my little boy has to put the right number words in the right bowl. Or you can have little fruit baskets if you like. I just wrote the word onto foam paper to keep it nice and strong and sturdy. And these little foods are just on different color papers. I have little shapes of um, apples or this could be rice or beans. I have a little eggplant. I have a little chicken bone, a chicken leg. Different things like that. Some of the simple little patterns of food that you can make because it's our food theme and it makes it extra fun. Anyway, so what he has to do is read the number word 10 and he has to put it in the cardinal if it's a cardinal number or ordinal if it's an ordinal number. So that was an extra, a good little practice game for ordinal and cardinal. Two, he puts it here. So after he does all that, we also matched our ordinal and cardinal numbers. For example, number four means it's the fourth. Number five, or you can go with the fourth, is number four. The fifth is number five. Because he hears fifth, fourth, all those ordinal numbers very often, especially when we talk about the calendar dates, but he doesn't actually put the two and two together. So he explained, well, if you say fourth, it means it's number four and all that. So that was helpful for him. Anyway, this is a very simple little game, just extra practice for your little one on ordinal and cardinal numbers with lots of food fun.